Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change somebody's hair color in Photoshop. Now I just want to say that you can also use this technique to change things or to change other uh, colors of things uh, like cars or clothes. Um, I'll show you an example of that later. Um, but the method is the same so I'm just going to show you on uh, the hair first. Um, so what you're going to want to do is uh, get a photo. I have this girl here. And what you're going to want to do next is come over and make a second layer above the hair layer, just a blank transparent one, and then come over to your brush tool. And you're just going to select um, basically any brush you want. I'm just going to pick a, um, one with a fuzzy edge on it. And make sure you come down here and your color that you're painting with is white. And then just basically it's going to look really weird kind of, it's just messed up, but just paint over her hair in white. And you're probably like, what the heck is going on right now? But I'll get to that in a minute. So basically just paint over everything. And it's better to have more than not enough. I mean, you can fix it, but it's easier to go back and erase it uh, later. Because once this is on its own layer, you can just come back and touch it up after the hair color has even changed and uh, you can change, you can erase it and uh, touch it up so you don't have like the color coming onto her face. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick selection here over here. So you can put more time into this. I'm just going to skip her hand here because that's that would require more time and I don't want to waste your time here. Um, a smaller brush. So there you go. I have a pretty good selection of her hair now. And what we're going to do is make sure you're still in that layer. Come up to Image, Adjustments, and then Hue and Saturation. So in here you can mess with the... Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped a big step. Okay, first what you need to do is come in uh, to your layers. And what you're going to want to do is drag this little tab down. Let me just pull this out here so you can see it. Um, pull this tab down and go and select Soft Light. Soft Light. And what you can do now, or what you see now, is that her hair is turned like grayish, like a uh, older person's hair, but that's going to change in a minute. Okay, so now what we need to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, and then Hue and Saturation. And now you can see that when you change the lightness or the hue or saturation, you can get your desired effect. And um, what I'm going to show you is like if you wanted to mess with somebody's hair and really make it bizarre. Um, basically what we're going to do is click on colorize. And I'm just going to put the hue up to here and lightness down. Some of you can already start to see what's happening. Turn the saturation up. Now she has green hair, yellow, orange, blue, purple, pink. I'm just going to leave it on the pink. Okay, so now you can just click OK to keep that and now you can see her hair color has changed so like I was saying earlier with the eraser tool if you wanted to change if you're, if you wanted to uh, like get rid of some of this color like it went onto her hand or something like that you would just stay on this layer and then you'd use your eraser tool and bring it off there and you can see but I mean I wouldn't want to do it there because that's uh that's her hair color so I'm just gonna undo that um, so now, as I said before, you could do it with other things, uh, not just uh, hair. So I'm just going to show you a couple examples of that. I'm just going to turn this layer off. And I have um, a clothes example here. Uh, I have this lady in a dress. And originally her dress was red, but I turned it brown with the same method as before. And you can also see the same thing with this car. Originally it was white, and I just turned it kind of a yellowish color. Um, so that's basically what you can do with that, and I mean, if you really wanted to get fancy with the hair, you could actually add highlights like this, um, just instead of the whole hair selection, you just do, like, streaks of it, and then change the color of those. But it's a neat, uh, technique that you can use to alter your photos and touch them up. Um, so what I want you to do is subscribe, rate, and comment. I'll have a video out every week. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.